Uh, if you had 100 children with cross-sex self-identification, sometime early in adolescence, or certainly by uh, late adolescence, over 80%, probably closer to 90% of those children will spontaneously get over that idea. But if you take them to a gender clinic, virtually all of them will persist in this cross-sex self-identification. So essentially, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy that gender clinics are generating gender-confused children primarily because they are affirming the mistaken idea that they are, quote-unquote, born in the wrong body. 